The RBA delivered a surprising interest rate increase in May and blessed us again with another increase in June. This was expected, so the official cash rate is now 4.1%. Now the naysayers will say this is the last straw that could break the camel's back. And it's been quite the roller coaster ride since May 2022. Interest rates in Australia have been on a steady increase and an upward trajectory month after month after month. How exciting for the media who have been gifted with an endless supply of juicy materials to sink their teeth into, courtesy of the ever generous Reserve Bank of Australia. We have been bombarded with negative headlines daily. But how is our property market really doing? So in today's video, we're going to cover a few topics. First, we're gonna look at the last three months rolling average in terms of capital growth. Second, we're gonna look at the auction clearance rates. Third, stock on the market and fourth, what markets to target for 2023, 2024 moving forward. Whether you're a first home buyer or a home buyer in general or a property investor or just someone who likes to talk about real estate and keep their finger on the pulse, this video is for you. You're gonna love the data that we've put in together. So if you're interested, keep watching. Property prices have soared with dwelling values in the five major capital cities experiencing a staggering 3% increase over the May quarter. Sydney continues to demonstrate a strong resilience in the property market, giving us an impressive 1.8% increase in property values just last month. This marks the highest gain since September 2021. Sydney has hit rock bottom in January 2023, and since then, prices have skyrocketed by 4.8%. So if you've been waiting for the last few months, congratulations. You've potentially cost yourself over $48,000. This rapid appreciation in property values showcases that our property market found its floor and is currently on an upward trajectory. This growth is evident in the auction clearance rates, which we're going to talk about next. Last weekend, the auction clearance rates reached its highest levels since February 2022. Leading the charge, obviously by no surprise, was Sydney, which boasted a 79.6 clearance rate and was followed closely by Brisbane that gave us a 76.9% auction clearance rates. So if you're wondering, how on earth are you hearing one thing in the media and seeing something totally different in the marketplace? Welcome to my world. We've discussed in one of our previous videos why we're not concerned about the mortgage cliff and a big data point to look for is stock on the market. Stock on the market indicates if there are many distressed sales. The more people in distress, the higher supply of stock on the market. If you wanna find out more about this video, check it out here. But for the month of May, the supply of new properties coming to the market was drastically lower than what it was last year coming in at 26% below the same time last year and 13% below the five-year average. Tim Lawless, who is the Chief Research Director at CoreLogic said, with such a short supply of available housing stock, buyers are becoming more competitive and there's an element of FOMO creeping into the market. Amid increased competition, auction clearance rates have trended higher holding at 70% or above over the past three weeks. For private treaty sales, homes are selling faster and with less vendor discounting. At Buyers Club, we were very happy to see that the markets that we've been recommending for our clients to invest in were the top performing markets over the last 12 months. Interestingly, we've been buying in those markets for many, many years. We called these markets several months ago on this channel. The answer is South Australia, Queensland, and West Australia. Now that the attention is shifting to those markets, you, as an investor, if you position yourself in those markets, could stand to benefit from that. If you wanna watch the full video, you can find the link in the description. And according to CoreLogic, these markets are Playford, Gawler, and Salisbury in South Australia. And in Western Australia, we're looking at Mandra, Quinana, Rockingham, and Armadale. Identifying markets before they boom is key to any property investor's success. But now that these markets have become more mainstream, it is even more important to have a buyer's agent on your side. A buyer's agent can give you access to off-market opportunities so you don't have to compete with other buyers and potentially overcapitalize. We are now in June and everyone is looking forward for tax time. If buying a property is one of your goals for the next financial year, you should know that the property market starts to pick up aggressively around August. 
So now is a great time for you to get on the front foot, organize your strategy, your finance and so forth so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for lending me your attention for today throughout this video. It means so much for me. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. I'll talk to you again soon.